guys, today I am doing a foundation review. And the foundation I am reviewing today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. And this color is in Golden Toffee. So, if you want to see how I achieve this look using this foundation, then stay tuned. I used my ColourPop brow pencil in black and brown on my brows. So now I'm just going to start off with some primer. So for my primer, I'm going to be using the Baby Skin um, Maybelline Primer. And you can find this for like $5 at Walmart or $7 at Target, I believe. So you want to mix it and put it on your hands and then just pat it on your face. And what this primer is going to do is just minimize your pores. It's not going to make your face matte or anything. It's not a mattifying primer. But it's going to minimize your pores. And next you want to take your foundation. So foundation, we're going to be using the Milani Conceal and Protect 2-in-1 Foundation. And this is in the color Golden Toffee. Okay, so this is how the foundation looks. It is a glass bottle. And then you can just take it off. It comes with a pump. And as you can see, I used it already, but this is how the foundation looks. And I really like the fact that it has a pump with it. A lot of drugstore foundations do not come with a pump. So the fact that this is a drugstore foundation and it comes with a pump is really great. Like, it's amazing. Like, cool. <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to take a, a pump of it and put it on the back of my hand. You can apply this straight to your face or, you know, apply it to your brush. But I'm just going to put it on my hand. And I just have like about this much. You don't really need that much because it is a foundation and concealer. So it's pretty heavy pigmented and it's really full coverage. I take my brush by elf and just put this all over my face. Concealer and this is in Fawn. So I put my highlight underneath my eyes and on my forehead. And you just want to press this underneath your eye. You don't want to drag it because you don't want it to go all over your face. foundation stick and it's just an 8003 uh, I don't know remember how much it was but I'm sure it wasn't more than five dollars so I just put that right there I typically don't contour my forehead anymore um, I basically just use bronzer in that area you can contour your forehead it's just basically your choice I just choose not to contour my forehead anymore I want to use that same beauty blender but I want to use the back of it so this is the point of the beauty blender and I'm going to use this back of it 
And every time you use your beauty blender, you want to make sure you have some Fix Plus or some setting spray to spray it because the beauty blender blends out way better while it's damp. Uh, so you can use water, setting spray. I just choose to use my Fix Plus. So now I'm just going to take this back of it and just basically blend out the highlight just how you see it. Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. You can use any powder of your choice, but this is powder that I choose to use. And I like to put it on with a Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. So I just put it in a cap like this, and I take my sponge, and I just dip it into that cap, shake it off a little bit, and just pack that on. And I do the same thing on the side. And you want to make sure you do it everywhere that you put that highlight. And then you also want to put it underneath where you put that contour. going to intensify your, intensify your contour you don't have to put it underneath your contour that's totally optional but if you want your contour to be more defined and more stronger then I would say put the highlight underneath there but if you don't if you just want like a, a soft simple contour then you don't need it I'm gonna start with the bottom and just dust off like so it should be really easy to dust off setting powder is dusted off I know you're probably like you're like a ghost I know we're gonna fix that <laughs> I actually like to use my bronzer with the same real techniques brush so I'm just gonna put it right where I put that contour and I'm just gonna go bronze my face back up and just gonna wash out with the highlight I'm just gonna get my face back some color So your nose, you just want to go on the sides of where you put the highlight. loving my makeup revolution blush and this is in fusion and this is just how the blush looks it is like this beautiful uh coral pink color pale pink and i like to use i'll put a brush to my blush and i'm just gonna put this not with the blush like right above your contour not too high basically on the apples and cheeks you can make a little fish face if you have to so now for powder, I'm going to be going in with my Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation, and this color is in dark. So this is just how it looks, and it is just like this. It looks way lighter on camera than it does in person. I'm telling you guys, this is my color. It looks nothing like this in person. And so I'm going to put that everywhere I'm going to put it on the bottom where I put that same powder at, just to kind of comb it down, I like to put it on my sides. Face, and I split it around my mouth. I feel like sometimes uh, I split it around my nose. I kind of comb the nose, kind of my highlight down. And next, after that, I am going to be doing highlight. So for my highlight, I am using my Urban Decay Naked Illuminate, and this is in the color Lit. And I am absolutely in love with this highlight it is the perfect gold shimmer i'm gonna take this brush like oh this is a concealer brush i like to use it for my highlight though it's like a big fluffy brush like this and it applies highlight beautiful so i'm just gonna put this at the top as you can see highlight makes a big difference okay and then i'm gonna put this on the apple of my nose and down the bridge and i'm gonna put it right here on above my lip and underneath my brows to kind of give it that definition 
So I applied my lipstick, my lashes, and my liner off camera. So this is how the look came out. I absolutely love the foundation. Um, like I said, it's a medium to full coverage. It's lightweight, oil-free, long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. I have been wearing this foundation for about two weeks now. Yeah, it's been about two weeks since I started wearing this foundation every day, non-stop. And I absolutely love it. It does last a long time. I find that when I put my makeup on in the morning, it does last until the end of my day. And um, that's one thing I absolutely love about it. The only con I have to say with this foundation is it's not like in every store. Like They stop the colors at tan, like in Walmart and Walgreens and stuff. And, like, I was really surprised to find this in one of my Walgreens, to find this color, because everywhere else they stop the color. And it's like, I just feel like, if y'all make two extra shades darker, why not sell them in stores? Why only make it available online? And it's just too much of a hassle, but I hope, I'm hoping that uh, they saw, like, enough complaints about it, and now that's why they have them in a the store, but definitely when it first came out, it was not in store, this color. And, um, so I definitely say if you're my color, a little darker, it can work for you. If you're lighter, I would suggest going with the chestnut color, which is a little different, a little lighter than it. Uh, it's basically just a different undertone. So, um, yeah, I would say when I wear this foundation, I get oily through the day. When I wear any of my other foundations, I do not get oily. So I don't know about that oil-free formula they say. That they have because I do get oily and I have dry skin but yeah uh, I absolutely love it um so I say if you're interested in trying the foundation then definitely give it a try so, okay, so that's about it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked the review slash demo and got a good little highlight and contour uh, tips and tricks in there also so just leave me a comment down below how you like the video and if you tried the foundation what do you think of it so see you guys next time